Maltax Engineering, a company that was formed in 2016 and within the four years now turns over three million pounds a year. And in fact, they've invested a similar level in technology to get them here. Part of that equation has been Open Minds Hypermill. Let's get inside and see what this software has done for the company. Myself um, and my business partner Ashley Meisen, uh, we registered the company back in November 2016. Um, the first machine arrived in December um, of that year and we sold our first components in January. Um, first machine we purchased was a HSM 600U 10 pallet machine by Micron. Right from the outset we knew that we wanted to focus on automation and try and um, utilise unmanned machining hours as much as possible. In the beginning, obviously, just being the two of us, extremely tough, high customer demands, keen to deliver and do exactly what we set out to do from the start and just trying to gather the momentum so we could get to a point where we could take on additional resource, be it machine tools and staffing. Obviously, at the start, it was just myself and Ashley, so a, a huge demand put on us personally to deliver. Ashley, the technology that you've got here in the machine shop is... Um well, it's at some level, isn't it? Can you talk us through maybe some of the machines that you've got? Um, so it was always our sort of thing from the start to invest in high-level machinery. So the first machinery we bought was a machine behind me. It's a 10-pallet automated HSM 600. It's a high-speed spindle, HSK 63 back end. So we sort of went from it for the start. And then our, the latest five axis that we bought was a Mille 700. Uh, this again was just to give us um, the versatility of bigger components and also to sort of be a sister machine to the 600 behind. The nature of our work means that we, we can't be late on delivery, so we need to cover all bases. Obviously five of the six machines are automated. We try to maximise our automation as much as possible. Uh, the, all of the machines carry Lang single point tooling so, uh, to enable us with inspection. And how important is the CAD CAM that you operate here? Uh, tell us about the open mind situation. Uh, so we, we started off, I was an open mind user before we decided to um, take the decision to start the business uh, at, a, at a relatively high level. Um, it's a game changer for us really. We've got integrated machine models, the, the programming, the two program on Hypermill I'd say from the use of many CAM systems I've used over the years. It's so simple to even train a non-CAM user. We have our setter and operators use it as a setting tool as well as a programming tool so they can check the datum of the part, produce a tool sheet, post the uh, NC code into the machines. They also run the verification software uh, to make sure there's no collisions. So for us, yeah, it's um, a game changer. I don't know what, we definitely wouldn't be where we are today without it. Would you use it to even program the simplest of parts to the most complex of components. Um, our guys would always like to use Hypermail and to be fair from a business stance, it's great to, to have even the simplest parts programmed in it because we've got them then stored on our central server. We get a re repeat component, we can pull that program back out, see the tools, how it was held, and we're, we're up and running really quickly. Um, it's great to hear how easy it is to use and how much use you get out of it, but what about on the actual uh, machining of the part. How does Hypermill assist in what you're creating, i.e. surface finishes, quicker cycle times? Yeah. What are some of the features that people should, should know about? I mean the strategies that it offers and how easy it is to, to generate those strategies for the most complex of components for us. I mean we are a, a medium to high complex component supplier. Um, lots and lots of bull nosing. You can generate those tool paths in seconds. Um, and sort of lot for light for light components that we do. We can overlay the models and we use that as a template. It's really just efficient to get up and running. Let's talk about virtual machine finally here, Ashley. And for those that don't know what it is, could maybe you, you, you describe how it works and yeah, uh, what so, it does for Hypermill? Um, from my knowledge is that uh, Hypermill now will um, replicate the machine control. So it runs the actual NC program rather than uh, the POF files as of date. Uh, we've also now got full integrated models into that simulation package. And we have also bought the optimization package, which will now look at the toolpath generated by that software 
and Hypermill in history is always every time the table is indexed will go to a home safe position but now it's going to look to optimize that program just come to a clearance height index the table round which you could always do in Hypermill but it was a lot of effort to get there it's kind of taken that out away from you now.